Hey everyone, what's up? I'm back. Finally doing a commentary thing again. And I realize, um, probably not the best scheme to do it, but I see this as sort of a punishment for myself, seeing as how I haven't done it for a very long time. And I don't know. I kind of wanted to play this game for a while. Uh, yeah, Mario is missing. Uh, for those who don't know, this is an educational game that uses Mario World assets and sort of modified soundtracks and whatnot to uh, uh, educate you on world history. Um, you can see the wonderful plot right here, which involves Bowser building a castle in Antarctica and using hair dryers to melt uh, Antarctica to flood the world, so Mario and Luigi go to stop him, but Mario gets captured. And so Luigi goes after him. And, uh, yeah, that's actually ha what happened. And I guess Yoshi's thoughts are what decides things? <coughs> I, I don't know, sorry. But uh, let's play the game, why don't we? Um, you can run and jump here. There's almost no point to jumping out here in the overworld, but I guess it will be necessary. Uh, eventually, hopefully. And uh, you can go up these doors for the sake of going to cities. Like where we are now. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you... See right here, we can't go back. Because this Pokey. So what can we do? We can talk to people. Uh, I can't even remember. Okay, uh, it's A, I believe, to talk to people. So you can ask them where you are. It's sort of a riddle. You remember near on his fiddle? No, I actually do not. What's this? Uh, yeah, you don't get it? I don't either. What, okay, so what you're supposed to do is stomp on these Koopas until eventually you get an artifact from them. And uh, then that artifact, you can take it to people so you can learn stuff about it, but you're supposed to return them to the information booths. And uh, if you press the right button, which, uh, hold on a second, there's a city map right there. So you can kind of see where you are, but you can also trigger one. Uh, sorry, hold on, buttons. Using, uh, what button is it? There we go, it's L and R. Yeah, so let's see, is this the right place? Okay, no. Yeah, we're in Rome, because that was the Trevi Fountain. Uh, I've actually been there, it's pretty nice. And, uh, I realize this is kind of, you know, not a great game, but, eh, whatever. Okay, we can return coins from the Trevi Fountain. So, it's the biggest and oldest fountain in Rome. Uh, to return to Rome is why you do that, and yeah. I know this because I've actually been to the Trevi Fountain, and I know a little bit about it. Um, yeah. You know, um, so, yeah, you're supposed to find the artifacts and bring them to information booths of landmarks. So, and then answer questions so that the people can take it back and reopen it. Person looks a lot like Princess Peach already, as we can tell. And, uh. Okay, yeah, you can't return a gladiator superior to the Sistine Chapel. That's, that's not something. And these pipes will randomly warp you around. So I hope you know where you're going. Oh, and select will automatically get you the map. So. Yeah. Something you can do to speed up your process is go to the Globulator, and then. Just move Yoshi to uh, wherever you are in the world. So we're in Rome, so we're just going to guide Yoshi over to uh, Italy, which is right here. And, uh... There we go. Now we have Yoshi. We can move a lot faster. Um, yeah, that's the gist of this game. And a lot of this game is also probably going to be a test to see how long I can take it without losing myself. Because this game is not very fun to play. It's incredibly repetitive. And uh, I, I don't think it's educational. I wouldn't call it that. Because I, I don't really learn from this. As I know well, some a lot of the facts that we're learning as I'm in school right now. But, you know, I'm, I'm sure someone somewhere could. Just not me. Oh, and did I mention you have to get every single Koopa? Or, uh, not every single Koopa, but... It's random which Koopa has the artifacts, so, uh, yeah, I gotta go pretty far to... to get in. Pipe. Okay, good. Pipes also are random, so... 
good luck trying to go where you want to go. I'm doing this as fast as I can, but the truth is, you, I, it's also kind of random given the facts, and I don't know all these facts, so... Yeah. I, I just... I just don't even... Okay, no, don't do that. So we have to return to the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Uh, that would be Michelangelo and Sistine Ceiling. Uh, what? Wait, what? What do you mean it doesn't mean ceiling? It, it's the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Of course it means ceiling. What? What? So yeah, they if you get it wrong, they're not going to talk to you for a while. Um, you can read this, I guess, to get some information, but uh, no. So, okay, it means, uh, holy? Uh, one, two, I find that if you jump about 15 times, that's the time it takes for them to be able to talk to you again, so just jump a lot. And, uh, yeah. I think starting here, <laughs> before I get this, I'll probably start cutting out a lot of this stuff. But, uh, yeah. It's located in the Vatican? Okay, finally. Thank you. Go in, go in. Go in. Go in. Why can't I? Thank you. I, I swear, I was pressing up and it wasn't working. Whatever. <laughs> let's let's just get to that last one, wherever it is. Okay, that's, okay, that's not too far. Oh, and you can't also, when you're going up and down these roads, you can't go in the street because uh, imaginary cars honk at you because there's no cars at all. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, 50,000? Okay, it was built, uh, obviously not 1972. Uh, I'm gonna say BC? No? Okay, I guess not. Uh, I haven't studied Rome since 8th grade, and I'm in 11th grade now, so... I don't even think we ever even learned about gladiators, so... No, we learned about emperors, and, uh, Pax Romana, and Caesar, and stuff like that, so... Yeah, uh, gladiator. Chaplain throwers. Yeah, no. Obviously, it's called a gladiator spear, so I think I know who would use it. I at least have the IQ to know that. But, you know, whatever. So, why else to get Yoshi besides go faster? Because Yoshi will scare away the pokey, and so you can leave the city. And, yeah. And it gives you a password. And, uh, yeah, just do this about 14 more times and you've beaten Mario's Missing. That's actually it. And you can see Mr. Kubeling here is not very happy at us, so, uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, uh, boy. So, this place right here. I believe this is Shanghai? Um, not, I don't know. You, you can't tell just by the look of the map, so... I don't know. I mean, the music has obviously been... Oh yeah, the music is Mario World songs are just remixed to sound like wherever they are. So, I guess we have a song that's trying to sound Chinese or Asian. Because it's, it's kind of a stereotypical what thing, whatever, based off the Mario World athletic theme. Yeah, it's what it is, and it's kind of weird. But whatever. I, I don't know. Hey, it's Professor Dude again. Okay, no, I guess we're in Beijing, then. I thought I remembered these cities. Right. Okay, whatever. It, actually, no, Shanghai is later in the game, I believe, so... Yeah. Uh, where are the Koopas? Where am I? Uh, uh, okay. Well, I need to get them. At least now they know I'm Beijing, I actually am just gonna get Yoshi over here. Uh. Uh. Oh, okay, I guess Shanghai isn't in this game, because it's not like... Okay, whatever. Let's just do this to go faster, because Luigi on his own, not that fast. And oh, okay. When you jump on the Koopas, they, for some reason... With the ones with the artifacts, they just launch you forward. Whereas other ones, you just fall right through them. 
The, the people who made this didn't really know how to make a Mario game, except for, like, running and jumping. Because it feels really kind of loose and too big. Like, I don't know. You shouldn't have this kind of momentum. It feels weird. And similar to, like, a lot of weird games, the moment you let go of your controls, you stop. You have, there's no momentum like a normal Mario game. It, it just feels so unnatural after you've played so many Mario games like I have. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's it's just so weird. But no one cares about this game anymore. You won't find it on any Nintendo Virtual Console release, nor in any compilation. It just happened, and people like to forget it exists. Including myself, because it's not a good game. Oh uh, boy. But, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna try and beat it. Before I lose my sanity. Okay, I think that's all the artifacts. Yeah, we've got all the artifacts, so let's go return them, why don't we? Let's see where this pipe goes. That is not where I wanted to go. Okay, well there is actually a place I can return an artifact down here, so let's go there, why don't we? And uh, we don't need to kill any more Koopas, but I'll just kill them because... I don't know, because I feel like it. Uh, is this it? No, this is not it. No, that's not the button. Uh, is this it? No, there's a stone from the Great Wall of China. Is Beijing even by the Great Wall? Uh, had a slumber party. Uh, fast and prayed. It was built without a air conditioning. They didn't have air conditioning in ancient China, so what? They did have air <laughs> What? Are you saying that they did have air conditioning in ancient China? <laughs> What? Okay, well, maybe it's not air conditioning like an actual air conditioner, but still. That seems like it'd be the right... Whatever. Uh, it was built without... Uh... Okay, well... Nails? Okay, yeah. How high? Uh... Well... Meters. I... Yeah, I hate this. They will ask you, like, two or three questions, and it's annoying. I just wish, you know, life was easier and I could play this game without problems. Whatever. Okay, so they built it without nails. Uh, I'm gonna say feet. Okay. Actually, 123 feet is a lot. Yeah. Okay, well, there it is. It would be nice if they actually incorporated it into the background, because it's just a flat, moving background that just scrolls slightly differently. So, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Where am I now? Alright. Just get everything else in place, I guess. Not the Great Wall. That is not the Great Wall. They, they stole a gate. What? Uh, they could not... Okay, for well, The ever and Bucky... Uh, none of those answers make sense. What? Huh? I don't know a whole lot about this type of history, I'm sorry. I know the stuff about Rome because I've been there before and I've learned about it. I, like, never learned about ancient China in school. Okay, uh... Only... No. Show us how much I know about history. Let's just start cutting after this, so... Yeah. Okay, I think it's everyone but the Emperor. Oh, okay then. Uh... Tiananmen? Okay, then, uh, I guess it's Taboo Town? Why is it... Only I would do that. I'd select everything except the right answer. I just want to freaking return the damn thing. Hmm. 
Okay then, it's the Palace Museum. <coughs> yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you. You know, I really need to question the logic of how it is that these people aren't going to take your artifacts back unless you answer questions about it. I mean, what if a three-year-old found it and trying to be a good Samaritan, and then the three-year-old doesn't know a thing because he didn't go to school yet? They just... what? I don't know. This game doesn't make sense. And I'm going to try to stay out of ranting a lot, but, I mean, I probably will, knowing me, because, I don't know, I can get angry sometimes. People know this, even though I don't like to admit it. It's not a good game, so what do you expect? And I'm already starting to get a bit sick of it. Yeah, it's got to be a new record. Uh, okay, so it started in... I'm assuming... Okay. 30,000. Okay, then I guess 300,000 is a better number. If it were just 300, then we'd have This is Sparta. It would be Sparta if it were 300. <laughs> eh, okay. Uh, it's this. Okay. I had a much easier time with this in Forbidden City, so yeah. I guess I just know about more about the Great Wall than anything else. That and that precise number stood out against the all other, all the other like really big numbers. Oh, a Koopa. You know what? I'll let it live, just because I I want to get out of here and move on. Never been to China though. Uh, I'm sure it's a nice place. Hopefully. This is just gonna be me messing with every other country in the world, isn't it? Well, don't worry, my my town of residence is in this game. We'll get there eventually. And I'm really sick of this static thing. It's in the background. I have no control over it. But, yeah. <sighs>